you're out there, you're riding, you're having a good time and uh, taking in the, the outdoors. The fight isn't over. The fight is just beginning. What's going on guys? This is Carl with the Racer Red Channel. And I'm back. I'm back to trying to go to this lookout. I tried to go to this one on the Beta 500 RRS. Ended up blowing out my rear tire. Today, I'm on the mighty DRZ 400S. I just fixed the Beta's tire last night. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of fast forward through this ride and I'll try to start off pretty much where I left on the Beta. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. From what I hear, there's an abandoned lookout up here. I saw something last time I was up here, but I couldn't quite see it all the way, so I hope to at least get that far. Yeah, this bike can pretty much go just about anywhere. <laughs> pretty cool bike. Can I defeat the meadow today? I didn't last time. I got a flat tire over on that side hill over there. Actually made it further than I did last time. Well, I can see no business lookout over on that peak over there. This is kind of gnar town for this bike. I look ridiculous with this gear on too. I call it gear, but whatever you would call this outfit, a jogging outfit. This is what's left of Council Lookout right here. Living dangerously, getting up here. There's a lot of broken glass and metal. I don't know if you guys can see this from the drone shot, but oh man, this is beautiful. Well, if I want to go toward the lookout, I definitely don't want to go this way. I should have at least wore some boots. Truth is, I didn't know what kind of riding I'd be doing today.
All right, so this is Council Mountain Peak. This is where the lookout used to be. I think I'm gonna head back down. I'll try to work my way over to No Business Lookout. If I can do that, this trip was definitely a success. Beautiful, beautiful scenery up here. Oh my, this is so crazy. This is getting into mountain goat territory. Oh dude, this is mountain goat territory. One of the things I'm doing pretty often in the mountains, or wherever I can, is going for walks and jogs. Usually I don't record it. What's going on guys? It's getting late in the day. I'm on this mountain goat trail with a big dual sport. <laughs> and I'm just about to no business lookout from the backside of Council Mountain. I'm hoping the train is somewhat like flowy to the lookout. Once I get to the lookout, I'll be able to hit some uh, friendlier trail. Right now, this isn't too gnarly. Not getting bounced around too crazy like or anything. One of my concerns with this bike is the fact that it's got just street bike tires basically. So it doesn't have real durable tires that are made to take some crazy impacts. Let's take a look at the map real quick. Oh yeah, for sure. I want to take a left. If I'm wrong, I guess I'm sleeping in the mountains tonight. This is some pretty country though.
lucked out there. That was some serious impact that didn't go to my foot, but was very close. I really should have worn riding boots. Oh man, that was a mistake. When I left the house, I really wasn't sure what I was gonna do. And then I just started down the highway and ended up here. So I've never been on this trail before. Stakes are pretty high right now, riding solo. I can't get injured, that's for sure. And I can't break down out here. A beautiful trail though. totally honest with you guys once it's late in the day like this I no longer like technical stuff the possibility of me having to stay out here increase or hiking out here the odds are kind of stacking the other direction a little bit though against me I should say just because my external battery pack just quit on me didn't realize that was gonna happen for a bit and my phone is almost dead. Uh, that's not good. I do want the uh, newspaper article to say majestic in it though. I don't want it to just say local man eaten by bear on a motorcycle ride. I want it to say local man eaten by wild majestic bear while out on a motorcycle adventure. Um, New Plymouth. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> right now I'm heading out on like a main trail. Do you guys know the way to the lookout? Whatever. Don't want to talk. What about you? These guys are weird up here. Talk about a hole. It's geared really tall for highway. So just climbing through that rocky technical stuff, using the clutch a lot. Did the clutch work great? Absolutely not. But the engine is so torquey and smooth that I can stay off the clutch if I'm not on that rocky technical stuff. Oh man, what a beautiful overlook.
Holy smokes, look at that. No business, elevation 7330. This is such a unique lookout. It says family residence. Oh, family residence ahead. I made it to both lookouts and I made it down the mountain to one of the main roads. All I'm doing now is just going down to the main highway, hitting the pavement, and then going home. That was pretty amazing as far as scenery and trail conditions. This is actually a good area to take a two-stroke. So I might be back. I might come up here and park somewhere and then just start riding the Husky around, do some exploring. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace.